A big OIO prep profile this week. Big is in six foot five, 295 pounds, and headed to Notre Dame to play college football. Anchoring the line for Marion Local is John Dirksen. You know, the team's healthy for the most part, and uh, playoffs is a time of the year where it really just starts to get fun. You know, regular season's done, and it's, you know, live or die. So we're definitely having a lot more fun now. It wasn't fun for the All-Ohio performer week three of his junior year. The Flyers were beating cold water at home in the second quarter till he went down with this injury. I mean, it was hard. I mean, it was devastating, you know, when it happened. You know, a player of that caliber, um, you're thinking, wow, now what are we going to do? And uh, But the team rallied, and, and John, you know, once he got around and, and can be somewhat mobile, you know, he, he was himself and, uh, you know, he, he did what he could. It sucked. I mean, I don't think I I got all down about it. You know, it happens, but it's just one of those things where you just got to do the rehab, get back, and obviously we're back. It's been holding up pretty good so far. Dirksen learned a lot during the rehab, including how different it was being on the sidelines. It's not the same. You, you're, yeah, you want to be be able to do something, but the only thing you can do is cheer, which is important, but yeah, it's it's not as fun. But through it all, Dirksen's been a leader for the Marion Local program. John's just an outstanding individual. Um, obviously, he's a very good player for our level, very dominant player, but he's just a great kid, um, good leader. Everyone likes him, and so when you have a player with those attributes that uh, people like, and they say, oh, look how hard he's working in the weight room, and and uh, it, it's just great for your program. And that hard work resulted in a call from Brian Kelly and a commitment to play his college football at Notre Dame. I absolutely love their campus. I really love their O-line coach. Everything about it just feels right. So that, that was that. You can't drive like two miles from here and not see a church. And so I grew up in a Catholic family, Catholic community, and that's definitely a large part of it. It's just one of those things where if you keep listening to God and he gives you hints on what you're supposed to do and it's, you know, the work ethic that it's got, it's helped me keep a work ethic and obviously I would never go to D1 college just for my uh, physical abilities. I, you know, grades are a part of it, working your tail off, being a good person, just it all builds up.